Hey guys, I'm your host, Aiden Christo, and I'd like to welcome you to The Schrodinger Show. This is a new series we'll be showing on the channel that will focus on film-related challenges and activities. I decided to create this show because this whole quarantine situation has got me and the team socially distanced from filming anything. So to keep the boys active and not bored out of their minds, they'll be doing a little something I like to call the 12-hour short film challenge. Mason and Finn will have two hours to write their films and 10 hours to record and edit them. Once their time is up, the films will be judged by my family. The winner will get a little prize, and the loser, aka the dead cat, will suffer a cruel and painful punishment. So, enough chit chat. Let's call the team and fill them in. So, hope you guys are doing well this morning. Um, sorry about getting you up early. No, yep. it's all right. As you know, today you will have 12 hours to make one short film each. My family will judge which film is superior, and the winner will get a movie poster of their choosing. Let's just <laughs> jump right into the rules. The first rule is that the film must star yourself, whether that be in person or a voiceover. However, mm -hmm. this doesn't mean that other people cannot help you with the movie. The film must be over two minutes long. It must be live action, but you can include elements of animation if you wish, <laughs> if you want to like overlay them on top of the footage. Um, but I wouldn't because of time, but you can try. There must be a tube of toothpaste somewhere in the film. It doesn't need to relate to the plot, but it can if you want. Um, any genre is allowed. There will be one brutal obstruction given to both of you at one point during the production, and you can only use diegetic lighting. <laughs> so, the challenge will start at 9 a.m., and you will have until 11 a.m. to write your scripts and then you must submit those to me during a call that will last until 11.15 on the drive. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you guys have all the information you need. Are there any questions? You guys are good? Nope. You guys are all set? <laughs> I guess so. What's the obstruction? I can't tell you that yet. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my big question, yeah. But uh, you'll find out. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, well, I'm gonna let you guys I get, to get to writing. All right, the first thing I like to do whenever I'm doing anything creative is this process called clustering. And what that is, is I, I place a word in the center. In this case, the toothpaste bottle was the, the nucleus of the idea. And I cluster ideas around it. And it doesn't really have to be anything that is like logical or at all. But really the challenge here is going to be tone. And what's good about this is that I don't really have to worry about getting actors. I only have myself and my father in the house right now. And I can also do a lot of these insert shots whenever I need to. I don't have to worry about um, having people available at certain times. Okay, so my brain is so huge, it can't fit under my headphones anymore. That's why I took them off. So I was talking ideas. I ran my current idea past my family. And they were like, yeah, that's kind of safe. You need to do something that is pushing the boundaries, okay? And I was like, you're right, you're right. Let's do it. Let's push the boundaries. And then I had a eureka moment. Do gods need to brush their teeth? The answer? Yeah, I'm thinking they probably do because that breath kind of stanky. So basically the idea is I wake up and all of a sudden now I have superpowers. It's not really specified what my superpowers are, but something along the lines of like telekinesis, that kind of stuff. So then I have these new powers and I'm sort of adjusting to it. And I try and convince my mom that I have these powers. And then, just because I'm a god now, it doesn't mean that I can, I'm immune to like having to do the same stuff that like normal people have to do. I, I think that'll be better. While Mason and Finn are writing their scripts, I'll fill you guys in on their obstruction, the switcheroo. In two hours, I will have both of them upload their scripts to the drive and swap. Mason will film and edit Finn's story and Finn will film and edit Mason's story. I don't know how they're going to react to this, but I'm not expecting any smiles. But for now, let's check in and see how they're doing. So since this short is going to take place over four or so days, and it's going to be cutting between days very quickly, as in montage, I feel like since the days are going to be becoming more and more insane as time goes on, I think that I should represent that to the wardrobe. So for the first day, I'm actually going to be wearing what I'm wearing right now, which is like this grayish hoodie. And that also helps because if my hair gets messed up throughout the day, I can always cover it with this hood. And then for the other three, I'm just going to have it become progressively, progressively more red. 
And the reason also that I need to make sure that I have the hood on is because I'm planning on shooting some of the first day scenes at the end of the day. Because right now it doesn't really look like morning. And some of the f scenes that take place on the first day take place during the morning. So I'm going to wait for evening to come. That way it'll look more like morning with the daylight. I've just finished the script for my short film. What ended up being called Do Gods Need to Brush Their Teeth? I'm pretty happy with it. I think it'll be pretty funny. It, there's going to be a few effects in it. Um, which will mainly just be a lot of camera trickery, but I think it should be kind of cool. I'm hoping Aiden's family likes it. <laughs> um, I don't know how it's going to compare to Finn's script. I haven't read his yet. Um, I sent over mine, so we'll see how it goes. Mine's pretty dialogue heavy. Pretty excited for it. Uh, I am less excited for whatever Aiden's obstruction is going to be. No idea what that is yet. Well, looks like their time is up. Let's call the boys and hit them with the switcheroo. Okay, so now that you both have finished writing your scripts, yeah, I'm here to hit you with your obstruction. Oh no. Awesome, go for it. So this is called the switcheroo, and it basically involves Mason filming and editing Finn's script, and Finn what? Filming, <laughs> <laughs> filming and editing Mason's script. I don't script. even think Finn can like straight up film mine. Yeah, so I noticed there were some problems with yours, like Finn you know, has a rabbit and Mason doesn't. And my so character's to, bald and Finn is and bald. Yes, and so you have to find workarounds like that. Oh God, okay. But yeah, so you guys have until 9 p.m. to um, uh, get these in the render. In the right? render, okay. Yep. In the render. Yeah. In the render gotcha. queue at 9, 9 p.m. So I'm gonna let you guys go and um, start making these movies. Good luck. Okay. Now that Mason and Finn have their new scripts, it's time to make them into movies. Let's see how they're handling this. Okay, so. We got our obstruction, which I guess you all have already seen. Um, Finn has to direct my script, which from the sounds of it, I don't think he likes. <laughs> um, and I have to direct his montage kind of thing which leaves a lot of room for interpretation for me, which is not necessarily the best thing when I'm not in the head of the director. Anyway, I would have liked to have directed my own because I had a lot more ideas for like shots and stuff like that. With this, I have much fewer ideas and I have no idea what supplies I even have. I sort of need to just go through a script and figure out what I can change and what I can't change. But I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I have no idea what Finn's gonna do either because I, there's a lot of effects in there where I was just like, oh yeah, I'm going to shoot this in reverse, but if Finn doesn't know to just shoot it in reverse, I don't know how he's going to do it. Um, now I'm going to do his. I guess I have a lot of room for creativity with this, but like I said, I would have liked to have shot my own script. Um, we're going to work on it. We're, 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 we're going to make it work. This is like Project Runway, and I, I am everybody on Project One Runway. I'm Heidi Klum and Tim Gunn. We're going to make it work, yeah. So... That's what we're up to. Okay, we have just received our obstruction, which is now we have to switch our scripts and we have to direct the other contestant's script, meaning that I have to direct Mason's script and he has to direct mine. Now, I have conflicted opinions on this because I somehow feel more comfortable in directing someone else's script simply because I feel less accountable if the story isn't great. Um, Maybe that's just my anxiety setting in. But I also am not really sure how I'm going to direct this, considering part of the script, and actually a major part of Mason's script, involves his lack of hair. Because, you know, he has alopecia, and he often writes that into his stories for comedy. And I obviously have hair. So I could either shave my head, which is probably not the best option, or I could try to maybe reverse it. So the joke is now no longer about him being bald, but instead about him having a lot of hair. Okay, so... Right now, I've just finished filming around the first two couple of sections uh, with coffee and then Cheerios and then feeding the rabbit, which in my case is not a rabbit, but I have a tortoise, so that's fun. So then we did some retooling of the script that Finn sent over, it's just a montage. Finished most of the stuff that, that'll be on the middle floor. Move up to doing some of the stuff that's upstairs, which shouldn't be too difficult. 
here's the plan. We're gonna be writing all of our storyboards on sticky notes, and I'm gonna try to finish by one o'clock. That way I'll have four hours to shoot this entire thing and four hours to edit. Uh, ideally, I'll get shooting done early so I can have more time to edit, although that would just be an ideal situation. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Making them completely change scripts seems to have caused some problems. I feel kind of bad about the switcheroo. I think I'll give them some help. So I'm gonna head on over to Mason and Finn's and drop off some equipment. Hopefully this can help them improve their movies and take them the extra mile. Hopefully the boys are able to use this new equipment to enhance their films. Well, let's see if they're even using it at all. Did receive a present in the form of lights. Um, so, I do have that advantage. I've been filming for around two hours now, I'd say. Seven more hours of work to go. I filmed a good portion of the scenes by now. Okay, so, small problem. My camera over here uh, decided to run out of battery, which is kind of a me. I probably should charge the batteries last night, but I didn't. And then I was like, cool, I have a second battery, so I'll just recharge the first one while I'm using the second one. But then my second one was already on the battery. So, kind of screwed. So basically the plan is to import the footage I have so far into Premiere, edit what I have, and then once I'm done editing that, hopefully one or more of the batteries will be done charging and then I can swap those in. So here's a <laughs> bald photo of myself, um, a little bit older. Here's a younger one. And I'm not gonna print them out. I'm actually just going to super them, superimpose them in post over real framed photographs. And I think it should work out pretty well. Hopefully at least. Okay, so I was thinking for one of my vlogs, I would show the process of me putting together a shot, especially since for the most part, I have to set up the shots on my own, especially some of the ones up here. I do have my lovely mother helping me out with this. But so I, for, for when I'm doing it alone, I generally, I pick like a location that I think sort of works um, for what I'm doing, which I think in this case will probably be right here. And then maybe, yeah, I'm thinking like right here where, sort of where I already have the camera. I'm just gonna get the camera to a place where I like it. Um, maybe even closer to it, right here but this should be one of the last shots that I have left to do. So we're making pretty good time. I'm hoping to have three hours left to edit. Um, so in this particular shot, I have to eat tortoise food, or as the layman called it, lettuce, which not thrilled about in case you couldn't tell by my curvature. That pepper. So I I'm looking for an object near my scene, which in this case is the pepper on the counter, and that should be around where I'm standing. So if that's in focus, then in theory I should be in focus. Now I press the core button. <laughs> At this point, we've filmed most of the downstairs shots involving myself um, as Mason and him as Mason's mother. Uh, I have three hours left in this challenge. I would say that I've, become, I've been becoming uh, pretty exhausted from all the different shots that I have to set up, especially since all of these shots are not storyboarded. Although, I don't imagine that if I had storyboarded them ahead of time, it would have been much better. We're having salmon and potatoes. So, after this, we'll be shooting for another 30 minutes, and hopefully that'll give me about two and a half hours to finish editing. Now that they're done filming, it's time to start editing. Okay, so... We have finished principal photography on this movie, Social Isolation. I wasn't super thrilled to start off with, but now that I've done some more things, I think it'll 
turn out pretty funny, I hope. You guys will see. I'm pretty excited for it. Um, a lot more excited than I was before. Uh, I think I've turned it into something that's a combination of both my ideas and Finn's ideas. I had to cut a couple things out because I narratively I just didn't have the time to make them work. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to start editing what I have. I have my dinosaur chicken nuggets because I'm five. Um, yeah, should be pretty cool. We're in the home stretch. It's 8.25 p.m. And, uh, jeez, guys, this might be the worst movie I've ever edited. Um, or made, for that matter. I mean, I'm sure there's worse. Uh... I think that I got a bit too confident in the opening hours just because I did a lot of really interesting special effects. And I think that there's some comedy to find in those and some appreciation. However, uh, <laughs> the dialogue, especially in the argument scene, I guess it's kind of an argument scene, I'm not even entirely sure. Uh, I wasn't really sure what to make of the script. The dialogue is not great, and I'm not going to have time to actually use the dialogue that we used with the lavalier. I think I'm just rather spend that time polishing the visuals and actually making it a coherent story instead of making the audio sound slightly better and that's going to take a while to sift through all the audio in the first place so i don't know what i'm gonna do <laughs> hopefully the judges are kind on me although uh there are some parts that i think are kind of cool i do like the in-camera tricks that i use and some of the editing i think is fine and cinematography other than that though there's no story that brings this all together there's no like really great narrative but that just might be the nature of this switcheroo that we're doing. Although Aiden did say that he, we were being judged more on our directing techniques than we were on our script, story writing, like our screenwriting, considering that we had to switch scripts. So maybe that'll save me if he sees that my cinematography is decent. We'll only have time to tell. We are 20 minutes out from having to turn it in and I'm in a pretty final state. I color graded a couple shots that stood out because I recorded them on my phone with my gimbal versus with the actual camera. So I tried to make the footage match a little bit more. I did the best I could. Um, at this point, it's just finishing touches. I'm trying to make everything match the score, which is the Hall of the Mountain King. I had to switch it up halfway through because the song wasn't long enough. So I've just been manipulating the song and the footage so that everything syncs up kind of. Um, it's a lot of just, you move this and then now the music doesn't sync up and then I move the music and now the footage doesn't sync up. So it's, it's a headache. But I'm trying to think what's that last like 10% I can do to like make it pop. I'm thinking adding watch ticking af after every cut would be like kind of cool, maybe. Uh, I don't know, and doing all the percussion. I don't know if 20 minutes is enough time to do that, so. I guess I'll go for it. I'm gonna try and add the drums in. We'll see what happens. I may just wind up having to delete all of it. Who knows? Looks like their time is up. After the films finish rendering, it'll be time to run them by our judges. So, you guys have finished exporting your movies. Yes, we have finished exporting our films. Awesome. Don't so, call well, mine's still in the process of being exported, but my Mason excuse is still being chugging good. hard. Yeah, we'll Mason, um, Mason had a bit of an incident. He, uh, he pretended as though he had his entire computer crash on him, even though what he was really doing was adding the final touches to his phone. <laughs> no, I have video proof of it crashing. I vlogged like 30 seconds of it, and then Aiden called me. Yes. On mm -hmm. on one, we'll all press play. No, no, I'm, okay. I'm not ready yet. I'm not all ready right. yet. We need to establish one, one is actually on one, not after one, correct? On one, on one. On, yeah. on one. <laughs> so it'd be like three, two, one, play. Yeah. All right. Okay. Three. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I saw the I saw the opening uh I saw the, the opening shot. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. 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 Ready? Ready? Three, three, two, 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 one. Oh my God. <laughs> this is what I spent my morning doing, brother. <laughs> I don't feel tired, just different. You <laughs> <laughs> said he rises like a vampire, so that's what I was Yeah. There oh, we go. Cool. That's a nice match cut. I like that. A lot. 
You have hair? I don't know, it was just there when I woke up. I I think it's because I'm a god now. I like the, the <laughs> Edgar Wright <laughs> shot. I could take it away if I wanted to. Well, it's hair. Does it even really matter? <laughs> I don't care if you have lasers shooting out of your eyes. Just go drink some water. Mason! <laughs> alright, alright, fine. If all I need is your permission, then look, I'm you now. <laughs> hey, you're not allowed to be me. <laughs> oh, too late. You know what, Mason? You can't have soda in the morning. Aw, oh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I prefer the term God Child. I'm totally not really supposed to like the devil. Dear God, I need you to load the dishwasher and brush your teeth. Your breath is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What is this? <laughs> yes, they do. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, that geez, was that was so funny. That oh was god. great. That was great. It's like an unintentional comedy. <laughs> that was absolutely great. I mean, it's like a part of it's, it's an like... intentional comedy that then became unintentionally more funny than it was. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. That was great. Right, I'm, I'm really excited to watch Mason's as well. Okay. Wow. Uh, here, let me Okay. So, so, just some, some <laughs> notes, dude. Yeah. Um, the acting on both of your parts was awesome. I loved it. Um, <laughs> I did. I actually thought your dad was really, really funny in this movie. And I thought that opening shot, just just knowing you for so long about growing out your hair just just freaked me out. It was I spent crazy. like I spent like my first two hours just making that shot. Yeah. How did you did you motion track it or did you print off pictures? I, I motion tracked it. But it's really? good that you didn't you couldn't tell the difference because wow. I was worried that Yeah it I couldn't. I really couldn't. That was great though. I loved it. I am a big fan. I'm. Uh, I think you did a great job of. Um, I. Th I think you did a great job of, of really translating uh, Mason's script and adapting <laughs> to it. And I know it Definitely was rough. Definitely translated my script. <laughs> All right. I've got Mason's up. Yep. I, I have, have it up zero. too. Zero, zero. Okay. This is a higher frame rate, definitely. I don't know, I did not adjust the export settings, I just sort of went for it. Oh, nice. Like the music. I think, I like how both of us uh, took the crutch of not doing sound design just by adding music. Yeah. <laughs> it's so easy. Yeah, I know. I made a music video. There's only sound design in one part, and you'll hear it. <laughs> okay, we got our inciting incident, COVID-19. <laughs> okay. That's the one. That's it's your sound, sound design. design. <laughs> yeah. It's a cool shot. Oh, I like yeah. the match cut. I like the match. It's too. good. There's like 80 individual shots in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like a cursed, this is like a cursed video. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's not what I was thinking about when I said upside down, but that's much better than what I was thinking. Oh my god, that is so gross. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That was great. That, that was, was great. great. Yeah. That was God. great. I love how you added the part about the toilet paper. I, I didn't even think about that. Oh my oh God. yeah, I, we, it just said in, for one of the shots it listed um a uh, bunch of crazy shit happens. And then I was like, I, I, I was like, I already have 80 shots to do. So um, 
I was like, uh, this is the best I could come up with. So I took my brother's airsoft gun. I flipped a black hoodie inside out. I put on a ski mask. I was like, what if I just like robbed my neighbor's toilet paper? Um, and then that was like, I, mean, I didn't realize it was gonna be like one of the <laughs> final, final shots, but yeah. I thought yeah. Um, <laughs> music uh, was perfectly placed in this movie. Um, you definitely had a lot of shots, a lot of shots. Um, uh, the uh, peeing in all the cups and stuff was pretty over the top, and I thought that was hilarious. Um, yeah. Uh, just kind of, I mean, it's like the descent into madness that I guess you were going through through quarantine, or Finn was, because he wrote it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm a big fan of both of these movies, and um, now I'm going to run it by my family, and it's three mm -hmm. people. Uh, whoever gets the most votes uh, will take home a movie poster of their choosing. So, um, the results are in. Yep. Uh, my two parents and my sister have voted. And with two votes is Mason's story. Oh, not surprising. Wait, wait. <laughs> is it my story or Mason's his? story or the Mason's film? film that Mason directed. Oh, the one I directed. Yeah. <laughs> Expect. Uh, sorry if that was confusing. Yeah. I get Joaquin Phoenix's beautiful face. Um, all right. Well, I will send you, I will uh, mail you a poster uh, of her. Um, Who's her? Congrats, Mason, Thank on you. winning this. Thank you. Um, what is the punishment for And uh, oh, Finn. Yeah. Lay it on me. Finn, here is your punishment. Your terrible punishment. Oh. Is okay. that you have to host episode two. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Yeah. I mean. I feel like we got a lot done today. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Feel like it. Yeah. <laughs> How, Exhausted. Oh, yeah. What did they say? <clears throat> um, well, everybody, first of all, with um, Finn's movie the opening shot just killed everyone um <laughs> yeah i was expecting that they thought that was great the dialogue between you and your dad was received great no really you guys both made amazing movies um for 12 hours you guys really pulled something off i'm i'm happy that you guys were able to really do the whole s script swapping thing mm -hmm. um yeah it was a good experience. great job guys yeah it was fun well that does it for today guys i hope you enjoyed episode one of the schrodinger show Again, if you want to watch Mason and Finn's films in their entirety, you can find the links in the description of this video. We had a lot of fun with this, but tell us what you think of the show in the comments down below. If you enjoyed it, you may as well subscribe to the channel because episode 2 will be coming soon. Thanks again for watching, we'll see you next time.